you're uh, known worldwide as just master guitarist and composer, arranger, producer, and you have experience with a variety of styles of music and that you blend together in your unique style to play music. Where do you get your inspiration from? All, all styles of music and all kinds of people, all different kinds of countries. Um, I'm influenced by Caribbean music, African music. I, I grew up with rock, heavy metal. I, I like everything actually, classical music, jazz guitar, everything. Your musical eclecticism and versatility have yielded excellent discographic results as your first album, A Guitar Thing, and also Acoustic Inventures, one of the last four work you have released independently with your own label called Ronnie Music. Why did you decide to become independent and start the project of Ronnie Music Label? Because I felt that the other record labels were always taking taking advantage, always wanted to control everything you do. Also, you know, the publishing, um, you know, this, you would never know how many records you sold or anything like that. So I started that uh, record label um, and I have released about three CDs, but I'm, I'm about to release another one featuring my daughter who's a jazz vocalist. And right now I'm actually raising money for that project for my record label on Indiegogo if you're interested, if you let your fans know. It's, it's, it's called um, Help Ronnie Music Label Be a Success. You're also a jazz educator and guitar instructor with over 30 years of experience in a wide range of contexts. And especially you create an online platform called practicejazzguitar.com. How do you help people learning music through this platform? And do you consider internet and e-learning platforms a valuable tool to teach music, especially among the youth? Yeah, I think it's very important. I mean, in my website I have videos, I have uh, lessons with sheet music that you can download. Also, um, MP3s that you can listen to that follow along with the music. And some people, and I try to emphasize learning how to read, so I actually, you know, don't give them tablature like most guitar players do. So I think Practice Jazz Guitar's web, website is, is, is um, made for people who, who are working, and when they have time, they could just go on the website and start looking at the material. What does good practice mean to you, especially applied in the field of youth? and culture and creativity. Do you think about any example from your experience that we can share with uh, our public? A, a good practicing? I mean, the best way to practice is to practice just a little bit every day. Not practice one hour a week, but practice maybe 10, 20 minutes a day, because it's the consistency that makes you better. If you practice one hour a week, you don't learn anything, but if you practice every day, it's called repetition. So practice is repetition, and then eventually, I mean, I enjoy practicing because it's almost like meditation now. I don't look at it as work. You can't look at practice as work. You gotta look at it as something that you really f feel inside. And what do you wish to the youth and to the volunteers around the world? Well, I mean, I hope they get into to jazz music and also that they learn an instrument. You know, it really opens your mind up and, um, you know, they, they stick with it. It'll make the world a better place.